An astonishing report, our nearest star cluster to Earth is being ripped apart by something massive that we cannot see. This is a, a black hole, perhaps? RT reports has bended reality. News analysis of data from one of humanity's most powerful space observatories, Gaia, suggests that the nearest star cluster to our Earth is being torn asunder by the phenomenal gravity of a massive object we cannot see. Well, from what we know, theoretically, something that can tear something apart, mass, for example, is a black hole. Now, astronomer Teresa Jerbakov Jerbkova and her colleagues from the European Space Agency and the European Southern Observatory poured over the information contained in Gaia data released 2.5 and DR3. The Gaia Space Observatory maps the Milky Way galaxy in three dimensions with the highest degree of detail that current generation technology will allow with a view to pinpointing the position and velocity data of as many stars as possible. Following detailed analysis of this raw data, the researchers noticed something peculiar about the spherical star cluster Hyades, H-Y-A-D-E-S, located about 153 light years away from us in the constellation Taurus. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Recognizing some weird findings in the data, the team explained their search parameters, expanded the parameters to catch previously overlooked stars, and found hundreds of new stars. Dense star clusters naturally rip apart over time due to gravitational forces, both internally and with the gravity exerted by the galaxy around them, which can often transform a cluster into what's known as a tidal stream, a long band of stars. In Hyades' case, the central cluster measures some 68 light years across, with a tidal tail stretching over thousands of light years. And when the researchers ran simulations to expand the stellar distribution within the tail, they found more stars than are actually visible to mankind's instruments, meaning some had gone missing. The team then ran repeated simulations to try and figure out what had caused these stars to go AWOL, and the best theory they devised was that a close encounter with an object measuring roughly 10 million times the mass of our sun might explain the odd scattering of stars. That's 10 million times the mass of our sun. Astronomers are already theorizing it may well have been a close encounter with a large accumulation of clump of dark matter. Jerkova said there must have been a close interaction with its really massive dump clump and the Hyades just got smashed, she said. The dark matter hypothesis is always tricky as humanity cannot di directly detect dark matter and can instead only infer its existence and uh, position by observing its influence on the universe around it. So they call it dark matter, even though they don't know what's there, what it is, they can't see it. Despite this, best estimates suggest that dark matter may in fact make up roughly 80% of the universe. Dark matter clumps, suspected of being the drivers behind galaxy form uh, formation, are needed indeed theorized to still exist today in the form of dark halos which encompass entire galaxies and within the structure of these halos astronomers predict the existence of dark matter subhalos which may be responsible for the unusual ripping of the Hyades. Jerbkova said with Gaia, that's the telescope of course, we, uh, we, the way we see the Milky Way has completely changed and with these discoveries, we'll be able to map the Milky Way's substructures much better than ever before. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.